ladies and gentlemen, Sid Survival Guide here, bringing you a five minute meal video. And the reason that I am sitting in this vehicle and there's a bunch of stuff in here is because I wanted to show how easily something like this right here can be used in a vehicle safely, which is a lot different than the burners that you can get, as in the uh, Coleman single burner that I've got, the two, the two propane, the two I propane burner. This literally comes with everything. Box meal with oven bag and meal pouch. It even comes with a small amount of water to do this. So I wanna show you this process and sit here and try this one right here in front of you. In the comfort of my car, in the comfort of the driveway where I live, just to show how easy it is in an emergency situation. If I was snowed in and the vehicle could still run, but I didn't have the ability to get out and start a fire, and I don't have the ability to start a fire in here using anything that might make me sick in such a small enclosed space. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna spend this time with you. Number one, it says carefully open box along perforated line on end of the oven box. Remove all contents. This is the oven box. Place meal pouch on heating pad. Insert into bag. Pour all water into bag. Fold opening under and insert heating bag into oven box. Close box. Within minutes, steam will generate. Wait five minutes, depending on outside temperature. Carefully remove oven bag with meal pouch from box and tear open meal pouch. Stir and bon appetit. Um, this one does not have a metal. Oh yeah, so this one has a little, it says metal tray. This one is to, to put it on here and then put it back in this box. So it's all basically the same. Comes with fork, salt, pepper, or a, a, a spork. And here's our beef stew package. Pretty hefty. I mean, in reality, you're looking at one serving of 180 calories. You got just about everything you need. You got four grams of fat, 30 milligrams of cholesterol, 580 milligrams of sodium, 18 grams of total carbs, and 18 grams of protein. That's great, right? So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna open our bag here. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how easy this is. Right here, heating pad instructions. Open envelope containing activator and heating pad. Place heating pad on styrofoam plate. Open activator and pour on heating pad. Place meal on heating pad. Reinsert into box. Allow five to seven minutes to heat meal. All right, so what we will do, this right there, bam. And you see it's got six little cells, eight little cells. And I'm assuming these are your heating pads. Whatever, whatever ingredient that may be, right? We're gonna open our agua. It comes activator drink. Do not drink. Activator, I'm sorry, do not drink. Bolsa activadora, no, baby, I don't know how to say that. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour this right here. Whoops, I got some on me there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that's okay. I spilled just a little bit. You can hear it. All right, I'm gonna we'll place this upside down and it's already steaming and put back in the oven box and allow five to seven minutes for heating. All right. It's 4.55, so at five o'clock, we'll try it. Oh, it smells good. It smells good, and the steam. Now, I'm not 100% sure if the steam is safe or not, so.
We'll roll the windows down just a little bit because we are still trying to imitate an emergency situation. You could probably even use this to warm yourself up. The steam coming off of this is pretty warm. I'm definitely going to use the salt and pepper. Because I'm a salt and pepper fanatic. I like seasonings. I like the seasonings. And it's not a lot of space to keep some of these. I've got about 8 or 10 of these different flavors. And uh, I got them with the rest of my survival emergency food supply. And uh, they don't take up much space. Eight of them sits about that high. You know what I mean? They're easy to maintain because it's a nice square box. Even if you didn't need the box and you had to maintain without the box, you could probably put something together to make sure that you've got an area to do this. And that's impressive right there. Look at that. That's, that would that would definitely generate some heat. That's super cool. It says that the net weight is nine ounces, 255 grams. Best Buy. Ooh, shoo, that's hot. 420.25. That's definitely some steam right there. Beef, it's got cooked beef, potatoes, carrots, celery, peas, ground beef, dried soy sauce, modified cornstarch, maltodextrin, lactic acid, modified cornstarch, tomato paste, enriched flour, th thiamine mono... Nitrate. All right, so it's not steaming as much now. And we've got roughly about a minute and a half left. I always wonder if people think I'm weird doing stuff like this, like making a video in my car. As many of these as I have seen, and I still get the feeling that somebody's going to come up and like, what are you doing? Cause as soon as the uh, as soon as this is done, I'm gonna roll the windows back up, preserve the heat. In an emergency situation, I would sit this thing in the back, and I would allow the steam to pull up in the back. I don't think that there's anything dangerous about it. The box definitely gets mushy and moist. So we've got about 30 seconds. Registered trademark of Trillium Worldwide Company and Worldwide Group Incorporated. Five minute chef meals, delicious self heating meals, the complete takeout meal, a delicious hot home style meal, ready to eat in minutes, anytime, anywhere. They are good. I have had one. I had the beef stroganoff. 
I think I burned myself on the box the same way. Maybe that was the O'Meal's pizza. I think that was one of the O'Meal's. Some weird noises going on out there. All right. I think we're good. Look at that. Steamy goodness. Okay. You can hear it. Okay. So, uh, makes me wonder if we're going to have a little bit of water left over that I'm going to have to worry about. Now, I've got a rag here, and it didn't come with it so that I can dry the, the bottom of this off. And I'm wondering... That thing turned rock hard. Oh, it's definitely hot. Yeah, that's warm. Not too hot to touch, though. I'm assuming you set it upside down like that because this is a thinner surface to heat through. It says metal. On the box, this is carefully open box along perforated line. End of the box, remove all contents, open water pouch, one end, lift meal tub, white tray, pour all water in the place, place meal tub, face down on the heating pad. It says box, box meal with tray, oh, and meal tub. I thought it said metal tub. Okay, all right. This, as you can tell, still has the potential to heat this thing up quite a bit more. It's still steaming. But, uh -huh. I'm gonna go ahead and slide it back in here for safety purposes because I would hate to drop that on me while sitting here trying to enjoy my five minute meal. A beef stew, how much do I like you? A beef stew. I can sing about all my food. Ah! You know, it's like, I'm a big strong guy. I like to think of myself as a big strong guy. But these, these things right here, they don't test your strength. They test your patience with your strength. Oh yeah. Smells really good. Mmm. It smells amazing. It smells like some some seriously cooked at home beef or stewer. Let me get all this juice. All that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Ha! I did it without making a mess. Proud of myself. And we'll put it in there with that. And we already know it doesn't melt that because it was sitting right on top of it. So, we'll give it a little taste without the salt and pepper first. Just to see. But I mean, that's pretty good. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, here we go. Get a little bit of meat and some taters. A little piece of carrot. Mm. Okay. Right off the bat, I get a really close taste to uh was it chunky's chunky's beef stew and i think it's because of this this the meat has the same consistency as chunky beef stew the brand i don't have any in here but i try to keep some in in our truck for emergency purposes can of food chunky beef stew is exactly what this tastes like and that's great 
It heats itself? You don't have to eat it cold out of a can? What is happening in this world? All right. Now, as you can tell, the salt and pepper still in good shape, not clobbered up, nothing left in the package, all of it came out. Now, that's not to say that most of the time pepper packets just don't come with enough pepper, but I'm that pepper gravy kind of guy. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So my kids, my kids be like, can I get a hey? I don't know where that came from, but my kids do it, and I think it's funny, which means they do it more, because they see me laughing at them. All right. Now, mm, salt and pepper did it. Man, you can't beat this. If anybody is interested on in this, I got these off Amazon. And I'll put the link in the description below. And if anybody chooses to click on that link, it would also help me. If you get anything off of Amazon, once you click on that link, that's completely up to you. It all proceeds go to making the channel better. Mm. Just a juice. And I ain't that, I ain't usually the guy that would just eat the gravy out of something. If there wasn't nothing left but the gravy, this, look at that. And as you can tell, a lot of times when you'll have beef stew, you'll have a, you'll have a fluid, a fatness that kind of sits on the beef and it separates a little bit and you, you're not getting that. It's really good. Which makes me think either really good quality beef or they fully cook it well enough to get all that grease out of there before they put it in the package, which is ideal. I like that. Because just seeing that sometimes will deter me from eating certain foods. Mm. And it's super convenient. Doesn't take up a large area. Still produces a good weight worth of food. Tastes great. I had to wait a couple days to get it because I got it from Amazon. So you can't just go get it on demand. Or at least I don't think you can just go buy it in the store where I live. You may be able to. Somebody might be able to. I hope somebody proves me wrong. So hey man. You can get those at the family dollar. I highly doubt it, but that would be great. And it's got meat, and it stays good for five years. You cannot beat that. You can't beat it. Mmm. Mmm. You know, sometimes I worry that I put too much food on my channel. My brother had told me that he was watching some of my videos. And he had said the one that got him started watching my videos at that point in time that day was a food one. Because he used to watch old Russian Hacker. Mm. So I felt a little bit better about making the food videos and the meals like this. Because every one of these I do, I learn. And I can pass that information off to y'all. And then you guys might not have to spend the money. So that's a win-win for you. You get to see me eat this for free. And you don't have to spend your money on it if I say, man, that was gross. This one is really good. The beef stew, I give five stars. I definitely give five stars. Right there. Five stars. Look, clean up. That's all of it. When I get done with this, it can go in there. And 75% uh, of the packaging could be burned just in case I needed to start a fire. This could be burned. I would not burn this and this. 
but I would definitely set the box and that heating pad on fire. And styrofoam burns like crazy. So I never, I never condone burning styrofoam, but in an emergency situation, if that's what you've got, you do it. This is perfect for, for road trips. You don't have to do nothing. You don't have to make a special place for it. Look, <laughs> it says caution. <laughs> I should have read that. I read every part of the box but that. Oh man, I definitely, I definitely give this one five out of five. Cannot beat it. The only way you could beat this is if they were buy one, get one. That's how you beat this. Buy one, get one free. Maybe a little more pepper. But I feel like by the time I get old, I'm going to be that guy that has salt and pepper in my pocket. Just in case. No stopping, baby. All day, every day. You got to see the whole thing. You got to see exactly what happened, how long it took, how long it took me to eat it, and how much I enjoyed it. I really appreciate you guys coming, watching the video, supporting it. I really appreciate you giving me this view, whether you leave a like or you don't leave a like, whether you check out my Twitter, my Instagram, the Facebook, any of these things doesn't matter you got to sit here for free and watch me enjoy a meal that now you know whether you might want to buy or not if you guys have any questions please make sure to leave it in the comments below i enjoy talking to you guys and that's how we can do it back and forth i also have a discord you can always jump in there and chat with anybody in there i would like to get a lot of like-minded individuals that are wilderness associated in there and try to make a lot of good choices and decisions about having people around People you can learn from. A great community. You guys are that. I have recently reached 100 subscribers. And I cannot thank you enough. It's been amazing. The journey to 100. I have already learned so much. Already learned so much. And I've devoted so much time to this learning. That I would one day like to make a life out of it. I would one day like to become a guide of some sort. Rather than just on a YouTube channel. If you guys want to see that happen. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share this content. Check out all my social sites. This is Sid Survival Guide. In a somewhat pretend emergency situation. Feeling very 180 calories filled. A very enjoyable taste. Five stars. Sid Survival Guide.